What's happening, everyone? John Hendricks here for Boo Crew Media, coming at you with another episode of The Drive, presented by Royal Honda and Metairie. Well, we've got a preseason game on our hands, don't we? We've got the Chargers and Saints Friday in the Superdome. First time the Saints are going to be playing there this season. Obviously, a lot of eyes are going to go on to this matchup. Uh, we're here to break down a few things that, and thoughts that we might have going into this game. And let's start here. Let's just jump right into it, right? That's why you came here, uh, is... Who's going to play, right? Um, we don't know. I, I don't think we have an idea. I, You know, we've heard that there's going to be some starters that we might get a look at. And really, just so everybody understands, Dennis Allen has kind of been mum on this, and, and he's been asked throughout the week, you know, and, and really they haven't looked at the preseason game uh, and kind of where their thoughts are until Wednesday evening, Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening in that time frame. So we'll have to pay attention, obviously, to see who actually plays. You know, players who were asked, right? You ask Cam Jordan or Jameis Winston, uh, they're going to be ready if they need to play and if they have to play. Same thing with Tyron Matthew, veterans that you see for this team, and, and it just remains to be seen. And so, you know, some people have talked about, well, look what happened to the Packers. They didn't play any of their starters throughout the preseason, and then they kind of laid the egg against the Saints and blah, 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 all that stuff. And look, no matter what happened, the Saints weren't losing that first game after everything that happened last season. So that's that's something I believe. But, you know, look, I, I think it is important to get some reps. But, again, is it worth trying to have somebody that's going to get hurt in this process, right? Because – after this, you got the final cuts. Um, you're going to be off for Labor Day weekend, and then the season starts in September 11th. So, honestly, if you get somebody to play a series five to twelve plays, is in they get hurt. I mean, that's a that's a tough thing to see. And of course, injuries are an unfortunate part of the game. And I know a lot of players are going to get a lot of spotlights because they're trying to make rosters here. But you know, I, I don't know if it's the smartest thing to roll out any of the starters, uh, the, the big guys like Alvin Kamara, uh, Mark Ingram, or Jameis Winston, or you guys on defense. I don't think we need to see much from Demario Davis or Cam Jordan or guys like that, but still it's going to be a, a huge focal point. Um, I think that's the first thing that you pay attention to. Second thing is, you know, look, uh, can this team bounce back, right? Uh, penalties have been bad. Putting the ball on the ground, turnovers have been pretty bad. I would expect that we see a good bit of, 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 in book could be his last real big stand playing in a Saints uniform. I mean, it's, it's, it's on him. Right. And again, we talked about it after, you know, the game against the Packers that he's gone from somebody that, yeah, maybe you keep him on the roster as a third quarterback option to, well, you got Taysom Hill now. And now you're like, maybe this guy's on the practice squad and, you know, maybe they don't keep him on the practice squad. Maybe they go in a different direction. And and look, I know he's worked on a lot of things and a lot of people have the bad taste in their mouth from the Dolphins game. I mean, I get it. I understand that. But, you know, he's kind of down to his last strike here and he's got to deliver, right? Regardless of, of whether it's with the Saints or not. But you got to remember these players, even though they're going to cut a whole bunch, 27 players to get down to 53, they're auditioning for 31 other teams and 31 other teams are going to be paying attention to some of these guys. Right. And so uh, it'll be interesting to see somebody like Kirk Merritt. Does he have a roster spot? I don't know. Nephi Sewell. And that is the correct way. It's not Nephi. It's Nephi. As we found out the other day from Merrick Wilson hat tip to him. Uh, do they make the roster? Is it, have they done enough? Lewis kid, they've done enough to make the roster. I think those are three guys that are kind of, I wouldn't say on the bubble, but you know, when you, put the numbers together does this team go in a direction where you say maybe i can get by and not carry a guy like adam prentice the fullback they did this with alex armor last year but um and then maybe bring him back a practice squad because you can have up to six veterans and then kind of go from there same thing with john bostic i mean he's a guy that's on late you know it was encouraging to see pete warner in some capacity be on the field and around and such but um you know how do you do those? And I think those are some challenges, you know, um, secondary wise safety, particularly. Um, I think it comes down to Daniel Sorensen or Justin Evans. And these are guys that I'm listing that, you know, this is kind of the last chance for them to make their impression, make their mark for this saints personnel group to, to have their decisions made. Right. And so, you know, I, I think if you go across the roster, you can see 
the vast majority of this team put together. I think those five last five to 10 roster spots, and I feel like it's every year, but last five to 10 are where you're, you just got to figure out, do you carry an extra linebacker? Do you do this? Did this guy do enough? And it, and you got to remember, it's not just what you do in the preseason game. It's the game action plus all your evaluations from practice, all that stuff matters. Right. Um, and so uh, again, did Kirk Merritt do enough to make this team? Because now he's in more of a Ty Montgomery role and taking handoffs from running backs and stuff. Dwayne Washington's been hurt. How bad does that hurt him and his final chances to make the roster, right? Um, those are things I think you got to weigh out for this team. And so you're looking at, you know, we kind of segue. So first of all is do the starters play. Second thing is can this team rebound and cut down on the penalties and stuff? And third, just kind of like what I was touching on is, so can some of these guys make kind of a last push or make their case to make the roster? And you got to remember, it, even if you don't make the roster, there's still chances. And again, like I said, 31 other teams are going to look at you, but you obviously can come back on the practice squad. Things change a good bit with the ruling on there. You can call those guys up up to three times this season. So that's a, a big change over last year. And so, and of course, some of these, they can end up getting protected and all that crazy stuff. Right. And that's stories for a different day, but you know, look, I think that guys on a bubble that are going to, you know, that are playing their last game, we can go there. Right. I think Ian book, we said was one of them. Um, I think Nick Vanette's probably an easy one. Right. I just don't think he's done enough in training camp. And honestly, you know, guy that nobody's really talking about is JP Holtz. Um, not that I'd say he'd make the roster, but what's intriguing about him is the fact that he plays a lot of fullback in place of Adam Prentice. And I think Prentice is obviously, he's the fullback, right? But, you know, Holtz would be probably a guy that you'd keep for the pri practice squad because of what he does there. Not a guy that's really going to give you a ton of upside in the receiving department, but he has added special teams value, that type of stuff, you know, fullback role that could potentially help this team and in, in the grand scheme of things. So, you know, look, and uh, Dejon Dixon is another one. Uh, you know, Lucas Kroll, these guys, you know, Dixon is a guy that I think he has the the tools as a wide receiver. I think he's practice squad priority all the way. Um, but, you know, one good game, I don't think it would help him to make the roster. He's still got to get a little bit better on special teams, right? Uh, defensive line, you know, what's your four that you take? You know, I, I think it's it's probably Tuttle, it's Shai Tuttle, David Onyemata. I think it's um, – obviously Kentavious Street, and then I think it's Malcolm Roach, and, and that leaves a guy like Albert Huggins on the outside looking in, or Jordan Zach Jackson. Uh, Huggins is a veteran. I think he's somebody you can bring back in the practice squad. You know, those are the types of things that you look at. Same thing at, at Edge is Taco Charlton hasn't really done enough. Um, you know, a guy that's come on and has impressed is Nico Lalos. Maybe he's a guy that you give a practice squad roster slot to, and so um, – you know, I would say just with them formulating the practice squad that, you know, you could say 11 of them might be filled 10 to 10 spots. Let's just say 10 spots are filled with guys that they have on the roster right now that they'd like to keep on the practice squad. And obviously there's a lot of things that go into that too, but you know, they're going to look at other teams and get players from those teams to get and fill out their practice squad too. So lots to pay attention to in this one. It's at the Superdome. Good to see fans obviously, but Obviously, this is the last hurdle we have to climb before week one against the Falcons, September 11th in Atlanta. It's going to get lit. This season is going to be crazy. I feel really good about this team. I'd made my on air or on on the record predictions because um, Jeff Duncan had asked, you know, I got all of us together. Times Picayune, if you don't know him, uh, I, I went 11 and six. I feel really good about this team. Um, you know, there are things to worry about with, you know, like Marcus May and his suspension. There's things to worry about uh, Alvin Kamara and all the stuff with the, the new lawyer, Tony Busby, kind of in the mix, too, now in the civil side. And that's a little bit concerning. You can throw a monkey wrench in some things. But, you know, look, I think this ultimately is Jameis's team. Right. To, and it's going to they're going to live, live, breathe and die by what Jameis Winston does. And I feel based on everything that we've seen in camp that we feel really good about that. I think the depth has been much better than it has been in years. Um, and I think the Saints team is going to deliver. So whether it comes true or not, we'll see. Uh, you know, but starting with Friday, final preseason game, a lot to keep up on. Uh, keep tuned to Boot Crew Media, as always, and check out all my written work at Saints.media. Thanks, guys. Be good people. Again, John Hendricks for The Drive, presented by Royal Honda.